guys, what's up? Welcome back to the last day of Found Sealer Week, you guys. I told you I would give you a bonus video and today's video is that video. Um, you guys have been asking me nonstop about the Hourglass Vanish Concealer and at first I got the wrong concealer. I got some highlighting concealer and I went to film it. I put a bunch of it underneath the eyes and it was just glowy mess and it didn't look good. So I had to go back to Sephora's website and purchase the right concealer, which is this one. And I got it in the mail in time to be able to share it with you guys for a found sealer week, which I didn't think was going to happen, but thankfully their shipping is pretty quick. So that's what I'm talking about today. The hourglass vanish. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, this is probably going to be the most honest review you're going to get here on YouTube about this concealer because I am not a big fan of hourglass. I am not a big fan of the vanish stick foundation. I'm not a big fan of the especially the liquid vanish foundation. That one's absolutely horrible. So I'm going to be completely honest um, because hourglass is pricey and uh, nobody wants to waste their money. So I'm going to tell you very straight up what I think about this concealer. So I do have olive and dry skin. I do have lines underneath my eyes, so I'm gonna be telling you if it's good for someone that has mature skin, that has lines like I do, uh, who, that has dry under eyes. We're gonna be talking about it all. Um, I'm also gonna be telling you what Hourglass claims the concealer is supposed to do, so we're gonna see if it actually does it. I'm gonna swatch this shade next to some other concealers that I own so you can see what this shade looks like compared to those other concealers. If you're wondering what shade and foundation I am, I am in the Hourglass stick foundation in golden natural and i also have a list down below in the description box of foundation matches that match me so you can go check that out so you can uh shade match with me if you will so i have the shade here fawn vanish let's start with what does hourglass claim so on the sephora website it costs 34 dollars. there is 22 different shades i have the shade fawn which it says it's light medium with yellow undertones and I, can i just say this is the perfect shade for underneath my eyes it brightens and looks really nice so i i am happy with my pick so this is a full coverage weightless and waterproof concealer with microspherical powders that blurs and brightens for up to 16 hours of skin skin perfection so this is going to should wear for my little 10 hour wear test it's supposed to be full coverage have a natural finish it's very liquidy. It's for normal dry combination and even oily skin. It's free of sulfates, parabens, phthalates. This product is also vegan and cruelty free if you are wondering. It is also crease resistant, light reflecting liquid concealer and it blends seamlessly into the skin to diffuse the look of pores and fine lines. So if you have mature skin, you should be able to wear this concealer it is supposed to be crease resistant. It's supposed to be good for any skin type, no matter what kind of under eyes you have, whether they're dry, oily, normal, whatever the case may be, I have dry under eyes. Before we go to the swatches, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my future videos. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter. I am not going to be posting up a video this next coming week. Maybe at the end of the week, you'll get like a bonus video, but probably not. Um, I, I'm gonna take a week break, but then I'll be back the following week and we're gonna start doing videos consistently. So uh, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm always on there. Um, so I will be doing swatches of the concealer. I will be doing a flash test. I will be seeing if it oxidizes as well because concealers sometimes oxidize. So let's go straight to the swatches. Okay, here's my concealer swatches. This one right here is the hourglass one and it's an old swatch, so I'm gonna do a new one, see if it oxidizes. Nope, it doesn't really oxidize. Okay, here we go, here are the swatches we're gonna start. First we got the hourglass vanish concealer in fawn. Then we have the Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer in 2.20N. Then we have the Smashbox Studio Skin Studio Skin Flawless Concealer in Light Neutral Olive. Then we have the 
Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. Then we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in Medium Beige. Then we have the Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop in Light 50W. Then we have the e.l.f. Camo Hydration in Medium Peach. And then last we have the Joa Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealer in Natural Ivory. Okay, so we're going to put on the concealer. I have the shade Fawn Vanish. I'll do a sponge on this side, a brush on this side, and if you're wondering, I am using the Hourglass in Golden Natural Stick Foundation, so we'll see how it kind of works with this foundation. Make sure it's kind of evened out. All right, here we go. I love the packaging of this concealer. Ooh, I actually think that shade is going to be really nice. And this is a lot more uh, liquidy than I than I originally expected. Whoa, that blended out super quick. Oh my goodness, looks like a dream under there. No way. I've told you, I don't know if I've told you guys, but not a big fan of the stick foundation and the other foundation that I tried, the liquid one, the Vanish Liquid or whatever it's called, I hated. So I was definitely not expecting this to look anywhere near what it looks like right now because Hourglass is expensive and it better look super nice if I'm gonna spend that much on it. Okay, here we go. This is just a flat top brush. I think this color is absolutely perfect. This looks really nice. So it looked really nice with the brush, looks really nice with the sponge. It blends in a little bit better with the sponge, but holy crap, it looks really nice. I am really, really excited and it feels really smooth too. I love how it feels. All right. Whoa. Yeah, that looks absolutely amazing. Okay, let me bring you guys in really close so you can see what it looks like right now before I even set it. So can you see how smooth it looks? And it covered those under eye circles that were absolutely terrible. Finish. I'm gonna set the concealer. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup, and then we'll be back, and I'll show you how it looks um, when I'm all done with my makeup. All right, YouTube, it's been five hours, five hours, and I thought I would check in um, and see how the concealer is looking. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been looking throughout the day a couple of times at the concealer, and I'm loving how it looks. But on the side where I did only sponge, I noticed something. It was creasing on me. It creased on me even though I set it. So, um, I'll bring you in really close. Can you see what I'm talking about? That crease right here? Do you see that? And how it's not on the other side? Uh, not digging that. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe I didn't set this side good enough. I'm not sure. But man, the other side where I used a brush looks absolutely flawless, 100%. I'm super excited. But this side, not looking good. Not sure what's going on there. But you guys see, you guys see the proof. Okay, 
Okay, so it's been 10 hours and I thought I would check in one final time. First, the flash test. It doesn't have a flash, you guys can kind of see. I like to check and see if a concealer has a flash because sometimes they do have a little bit of a white cast. This one I don't think does. I think it's pretty good in pictures. Now, let's bring you guys in really close to ch check out my concealer up close and personal. Um, I love how it looks. You can tell on my right side, the side that I use the sponge. I don't think I set it very well because it's absolutely creased and it creased after like an hour or two or after a couple of hours. Um, and it just, it's also faded coverage. So I think I just didn't set that part of my concealer as well as I thought. Like maybe I ran out of powder in it when I went to that side. I'm not quite sure what happened because on the other side, it looks flawless, it looks smooth. The coverage is still there. It looks really, really, really beautiful. So I definitely like this concealer. It's really nice. It makes me look bright, youthful, it gives me that coverage because my under eye circles are horrible. Uh, I have a new baby, so I'm not sleeping very well. And my under eyes are just, uh, they're crazy. So I really love it, which is so surprising because I don't like the hourglass, any of the hourglass foundations. Um, I can kind of deal with the stick foundation, but it transfers so much and it slips and slides so much that this one is not my favorite. I just use it because I paid for this and it's expensive. But you guys, this concealer is bomb. It looks so good. If you are my skin tone, uh, Fawn is a really, really perfect shade for underneath your eyes. I I'm really am truly impressed. This reminds me of the Beauty Blender Bounce except I feel like this one looks less dry once it's set with the powder. This one just looks smoother and more hydrating under there. Although these two are so, so incredibly similar that if you have the Beauty Blender Bounce, you don't necessarily need to go get this one. So just so, just so you kind of know, um, but I do absolutely love this concealer, you guys. I give it a 10 out of 10. This one is probably my favorite out of all the concealers that I've tried out this whole entire week, which is so crazy because it's hourglass. And it's hourglass. Like I'm just my feelings towards the brand. It's just, it's just surprising to me, but I really love it. You guys, I think it's great. It's absolutely a hundred percent honest. I'm not on the hourglass bound bandwagon i'm not like into like, the stick foundation this one just transfers all over the place with me i don't have time for that but this concealer is really really good uh i hope you guys enjoy found sealer week i hope you guys enjoy these type of weeks i love doing foundation week i love doing concealer week and mixing them both together it was really fun to film for you guys it was a great way to kind of get started to filming consistently again i'm not gonna have a video up next week or this week, this coming week. I'm taking a little bit of break because I just gave you guys like eight videos, but you can always go check me out on Instagram and say hi. I'll have stories up there. I'll keep posting up there. But the following week, I will be back and I will start posting videos. I will try to do two videos a week, but I for sure will do one video a week, um, depending on how it goes. Um, and then as baby gets bigger, I'll be able to post more videos a week and all that kind of stuff But I'm gonna be posting consistently now you guys so I hope that you will subscribe and that you will Continue to check up on my channel and make sure that you're getting my videos. Oh, yeah Also comment below really quickly comment below and tell me what kind of videos you want me to film What kind of videos you want to see from me comment below you guys if you watch this video Comment, 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 comment so that I can start filming and create content that you guys want to see. But uh, yeah, you guys, I know that right now is a scary time and it's crazy out in the world. But uh, you guys, we can get through this. We can do this. Don't be, don't get too stressed. Don't let yourself get paranoid. Don't let yourself, you know, c come here, relax de-stress, find things to kind of uh, take your mind off of things if you feel like it's becoming unhealthy and just take care of your guys' selves. I just hope you will take care of yourselves. I hope that you will be mindful of others and don't let your fears make you unkind to others or make you stop think about stop thinking about other people. Um, uh, but anyways, I wish you guys the best and I hope you will come say hi to me on Instagram. Come tell me how it's going. Um, 
but I'll see you guys in a week, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for all your support, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.